In this video, I'll be showing you how to recover RDP passwords. It only applies to Remote Desktop Connection Manager, not normal Remote Desktop Connection, which I think is useless because you have to remember what the heck the IP is mapped to. In RDC Man, you can switch between things easily. You can set up connection groups and you can rename things instead of just using the server name. You can set up connection groups so that multiple VMs can all share the same credentials inheriting from the parent. But once you've entered a password, you can never get it back. Well, not in the UI at least. And you might want to, because if you wanted to change your password, you might need your old password. This has happened to me. So we're going to run a little PowerShell script to decrypt him. Probably won't work on other computers, but it definitely works on the same computer. First, we need to go find your RDG file. So if you don't remember where it is, you can just find it going on Properties, and then go navigate to this path. Then just open it in any text editor. And you may see multiple things that say password. We don't want this top one that's inside a credentials profile node. We want the one down here inside a login credentials node. Copy this giant password string, go to this script, and I'll put this in the description and explain later. Now we need to locate RDP. Usually it's in Program Files 86, Microsoft, Remote Desktop Connection Manager, and this EXE is what my shortcut is mapped to when it opens the application. So just copy the path and paste it in this first part of the copy command because that's what we're going to copy. We're going to copy this EXE and let's go change this path where we're going to copy it to. And just for simplicity, I'm just going to copy it right next to my RDG file, paste it in, but notice how we're changing the extension to a DLL, that is important. Then we need to import the thing we just copied, save it, and then right click on the script and say run with PowerShell. And boom, we've decrypted our password. And just to prove it, I'm going to go change my password. If I go back to here, log on credentials, and change my password, then say OK, then I'll need to go save this file. But then if I go back to my XML, see how it changed? We're going to copy this string again, overwrite this old password string, save it, and run with PowerShell, and what do you know? It's changed. And by the way, this is what happens if you copy this first node. That's definitely not what you want to do, because if you run this guy, you'll just get numbers, and that's definitely not your password. But let's just see what we did before you go trusting miracle scripts from strangers on the internet. First line, we define a variable, which is a string which contains your password, pretty simple. Then we have this copy item command, which takes two arguments, what we want to copy, the RDC main exe, which is what normally launches the program. Then we're going to copy it, but notice how we rename it to a DLL. This is so that we can port it into this current script, so we can write commands against the code that usually runs inside the exe. And then we have a variable for the encryption settings, and the important part is we call this decrypt string method, passing in the password string and the encryption settings. Technically, these two variables are unnecessary. You could inline everything right here, but it's harder to read. And finally, just a read host to prompt, because without that, you run it, it just flickers and disappears. Hope this helps.